Hi everyone, it's Dr. Salse. Today we have a special guest. We have Mr. Andrew Ritholz. He's going to be sharing some information that would be vital for you guys if you've ever been involved in a car accident. Mr. Ritholz, why don't you tell us about yourself? Overall, I've been uh, practicing law for about uh, over 40 years. And uh, today, uh, my law firm uh, it primarily uh, does personal injury work. Again, lots of car accidents, as well as other types, slips and falls, and other types of accidents, motorcycle accidents, all types of vehicle accidents, of course. We get a lot of questions here at the practice about car accidents, and we just wanted to give you some of the questions that we get that maybe you could answer for us today. I'd be happy to do. So here's the one. Uh, what are common mistakes people make after a car accident? There are certain things that it's important for somebody to do at the uh, accident scene. It would be a mistake if they didn't do these things. You could start out with your uh, smartphone and uh, make sure you take photos. Uh, we need photos of the damage to your vehicle. We need photos of, uh, for you to take photos of the other vehicle involved in the accident, including the license plate of the other vehicle. Very important also is uh, the location where the accident happened. Take several photos, photos which you can later show maybe to your attorney to show them how this is the way the accident happened and you can point out on the photos where you came from, where somebody turned, where the lights are. So those street photos are very important. Take several of those. The other thing is uh, sometimes uh, two people could be at a stop sign and uh, the other person will say, you ran the stop sign. And you're going to say, no, you ran the stop sign. What are we going to do with that? So very important. If there's a witness who saw what happened and can say that other lady ran the stop sign, you need to get that witness on board. You need to go over to that person, ask them what they saw, get their name, get their phone number, minimum. Tow truck drivers will show up and want to take your vehicle. You got to be careful about that. They'll take your vehicle, they'll bring it to some uh, tow yard and they'll charge you huge storage fees and you can have problems getting your car out if the insurance companies are not going to be around to pay for the storage fees. So um, if you have AAA or you have some other means of getting your car out of there or, or a shop that you know, I would have them come and take your car uh, rather than an unknown tow, tow, uh, tow truck. Is there anything that you want to tell people about their insurance that would be helpful? Yes, I do. Two things. Get insurance. And the reason I'm telling you that is twofold. One, it's the law in California. You have to drive with insurance. Number two, if you have a car accident and you get hurt, we've talked about a few things here about what you're entitled to. Yes, you'll get your medical bills paid. You'll get your car fixed. And if you have insurance, you'll get money for what we call pain and suffering, which can be thousands, many, many thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, could be a huge number. That pain and suffering money, you could only get in the state of California if you have your own insurance. You get that money from the other insurance company, but you're only entitled to it if, you're, if you have your own insurance. If you have an accident and you don't have your own insurance, the other company will pay you for your medical bills. They'll pay you to fix your car, and maybe they'll pay for your lost wages, but you're not going to get any pain and suffering money. So very important to have uh, insurance in the state of California. The other thing about insurance, which is very important, is, and it's not expensive at all to add uninsured motorist coverage. In fact, it's offered automatically. It's only not given if you sign something saying you don't want it, you waive it. Don't do that. Get uninsured motorist coverage. I see so many accidents where the other driver does not have insurance. What uninsured motorist coverage does is when you have an accident, the other driver says, I don't have insurance, your own company will pay you as if they were the other driver's insurance company. They will pay you for your medical bills, for your wage loss, for, for your pain and suffering. It's like, it's like getting money from the other company, except it's your company, and uh, it's part of, part of the premium that you pay on insured motorist coverage. But definitely get that.